Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Jellyfish video. Today we got good news and we got bad news. Now we're gonna talk about the bad news first, that way we can get all the exciting good news in the later part of this video, that way we can end the video happily. Now with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe if you kinda like or enjoy this content. Now let's get into the further details of the video. So I know what you're thinking, what's the bad news? Well the bad news is that the update's been delayed. It's not coming out till May 21st, 2021. Now that's not too far out. That's just not this Friday, it's next Friday. So basically we got another week. Now that's the that's all the bad news is they're just delaying the update by one week. Hopefully it doesn't get any more delayed than that. Now there's a lot of good news to come with this delay, so it's not too bad to hear. Well, now that we got through the bumpy parts of what's bad in this video, let's get into what's awesome with this video with all the new leaks of World 7. Uh, these leaks will include pictures of World 7, the new armor sets, new pets, and even some weapons. So let's take a look at these and let's talk about them. So first off, starting on the good news in the more posts earlier in this video, it does say that this is their biggest world yet. So this world should be bigger than any other world we've had, which is pretty exciting. Next up, we got some small things to note. New level cap will be from 90 to 95, so you'll have to do a little bit of leveling. Not too bad though, only five new levels. There'll be new 3 through 5 star gear. Uh, I mean, that's pretty normal, I think. Uh, new pets. Look at the trailer. Now, I'm going to put a link to their full trailer in the description. I didn't want to directly just take their video and make it mine. So, I just snipped some things out of there that were interesting to me and I wanted to talk about. Uh, that way, it's fair use. Uh, but if you want to check out their full trailer, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Next up, we got Dungeon 7.1. The boss will not be revealed until the update launches. Now, I do got a picture of Dungeon 7.1. Uh, the other picture we've already kind of seen leaked, that uh, original one in the first video, uh, was Dungeon 7.1 now that it's been kind of confirmed. So basically what this world's going to look like to me is like the upper half is going to be like the Greek heaven kind of world and then the dungeons and stuff are going to be like the underworld. So it's going to be a pretty cool theme. Uh, and then we got some major performance and improvements and bug fixes. So that's pretty good for people who have lower end computers or having a lot of bugs. So first up, what World 7 looks like. So here we are with our first looks into World 7. You can see it's kind of Greek themed, very colorful, Colosseums, towers. There's a full outer picture of it, very beautiful looking. Here's a close up on the Colosseum. And then next up we got like some crystal formation kind of thing. I think this might be the above area of the town you start in. Could be wrong with that, not sure. Uh, here's an actual lower picture of the world. As you can see the upgrade in the aura chest. Uh, this is a remade horse model. I think it's the same thing as all the spirit horses, but looks good. Uh, and here's a first peek at Dungeon 7.1 The Underworld, which is why I also think the original leak and this image are also tied to that same dungeon. Next up, the new pets. So the first two pets are going to both be different variants of what to me looks like an ordinary cat. One being white and the other one having some kind of cheetah theme, maybe tag or I, I don't know really. To me, they both just kind of look like cats. Nothing real crazy to me. Uh, this might get some people excited. To me, they're just kind of all right. Nothing too crazy. Now, this third pet. This third pet is something out of the ordinary, let me tell you. This pet be looking like the unknown Pokemon cards and stuff with these weird symbols and stuff going on. Not quite sure what this is going to be, but it looks very interesting and something very new that we have not seen anything like in the game yet. Next up, new weapons. So as far as the weapons, I think that first one is obviously like our polyarm. Uh, it's kind of different, but it also is kind of like very simplistic, kind of boring. The second one I'm assuming is our scythe. Uh, it's very different. It's, it's a bit too crazy. I would like to see something a little bit different in design wise, but this was definitely a creative styled scythe. I think this is these first two are themed with the underworld in mind. Um, they're a bit weird looking. I don't know if I'm a big fan of them. I can't yet tell if I like them or dislike them. I think I'm gonna have to wait till I see them in game better. Maybe get uh, an aura on them or something. Cause right now I'm not a big fan, but they could look better. Next up, it looks like we got a staff and a sword following that heavenly like holy greek theme kind of style here now these both look super nice to me i like both of these really well i think these both look very good i love the sword more than the staff by a lot and the sword really carries the staff here in this section of two weapons and then the axe here which i'm assuming is for berserkers um 
It's blue. I don't know where that really comes in the theme at yet because we haven't seen too much stuff yet. Uh, it looks pretty basic. It's got some interesting themes. So overall weapons are all right. I mainly am the biggest fan of the sword here. Uh, and then maybe the maybe the scythe. I, I don't know. The scythe looks a little weird too. It looks like it's broken. But uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Uh, overall, the weapons look new. Pretty good. Uh, hopefully weapon transmogs become a thing in this game though. Like really, I'd love to just buy cosmetic weapons that look really cool and make my weapons look like that next up new armor so the armor right away is super good i love all three of these so i'm gonna skip the first one here because i want to talk about that one last because it's my favorite i'm gonna start with least favorite to my favorite least favorite here is gonna go to the gladiator one in the middle as much as i love this helmet i don't like the chest piece i know that's like normal style for that i just feel like it could look better the middle piece just kind of looks weird to me the helmet and the rest of the outfit looks pretty good though uh yeah kind of cool to see like a spartan styled gladiator outfit in this game finally so i think that's going to be really cool i think a lot of people can like that one uh then we're going to talk about the right one which would be my second on here uh this one kind of obviously comes from the uh underworld it's going to be like hell themed uh evil looks pretty good i like the fire and the helmet kind of thing i don't know if there's really a face in that or not after we watch the trailer uh it looks pretty good though i think it could look a little bit better but it doesn't look bad now my favorite here is obviously that like angel looking set there i don't know what that 100 percent is it looks like an angel set to me it's a little weird because things are like look like they're melting out of wax or something but uh it looks super good i really do like this i think this is honestly one of the best sets we've seen in a long time considering what tower 2 looked like these sets, all of them are astonishing compared to Tower 2. Tower 2 is very ugly to me, and these look very good. So I'm very happy with these. I'm glad they've come back to some way better armor styles, because last seasons, or last tower, last worlds, were uh, pretty lame. But this looks great. Happy to see it. All these look very solid. I think the Angel looks the best. The Demon-like set looks second, and then the uh, Gladiator third, mainly just because it doesn't have as much flair as the other two. Uh, but with that, yeah, that uh, looks like it's going to be all of our leaks. Remember, if you guys want to check out more of this uh, on your own, I will be posting a link to World Zero's full trailer in the description of this video. So make sure to go check that out. On that note, guys, that's the end of today's video. That's all I got for you. I will see you all in the next video or stream. Peace out.